How to Make Any Woman Apologize About Losing, A Comprehensive Guide Apologies play a crucial role in maintaining healthy relationships. While the notion of making someone apologize can be contentious, understanding the psychology behind apologies can help foster a space where individuals, regardless of gender, feel comfortable admitting their mistakes and taking responsibility for their actions. This guide aims to explore the nuanced dynamics of apologies, particularly focusing on encouraging women to apologize in a genuine and heartfelt manner. Please like and subscribe to my channel MK Psychology Corner for more interesting psychology facts. Understanding Apologies, a Psychological Perspective The Importance of Apologies Apologies serve as a bridge to reconciliation, providing a means to repair trust and demonstrate empathy. They acknowledge the impact of one's actions on another and show a willingness to take responsibility and make amends. An effective apology can de-escalate conflicts, restore relationships, and even enhance personal growth by fostering self-awareness and empathy. Gender Differences in Apology Behavior Research indicates that there can be gender differences in how and when people apologize. Studies have shown that women tend to apologize more frequently than men, often because they have a lower threshold for what constitutes offensive behavior. This does not necessarily mean women are more prone to wrongdoing, but that they may be more attuned to social harmony and the feelings of others. The Social and Cultural Context Cultural and societal norms play a significant role in shaping our behaviors, including the act of apologizing. Women, in particular, are often socialized to prioritize relationships and maintain social cohesion, which can influence their propensity to apologize. Understanding these underlying factors is crucial when navigating the complex terrain of eliciting an apology. Strategies to encourage a genuine apology 1. Create a safe environment A person is more likely to apologize if they feel safe and understood. Creating a non-judgmental and supportive environment can help facilitate open communication. This involves actively listening, validating their feelings, and avoiding accusatory or confrontational language. Use I statements to express how their actions affected you, rather than use statements that can come across as blaming. Show empathy and understanding towards their perspective, even if you disagree. 2. Communicate effectively. Effective communication is key to resolving conflicts and encouraging apologies. This involves not only expressing your own feelings, but also being receptive to the other person's viewpoint. Tips. Practice active listening by reflecting back what the other person has said to ensure you understand their perspective. Avoid interrupting or dismissing their feelings, which can shut down the possibility of a constructive dialogue. 3. Be patient. Patience is essential when waiting for an apology. Pressuring someone to apologize can lead to insincere or forced apologies, which do not contribute to genuine reconciliation. Give the other person time to process their thoughts and feelings. 
Tips Allow for moments of silence during conversations, giving the other person space to reflect. Avoid setting ultimatums or deadlines for an apology, as this can create unnecessary pressure and resistance. 4. Lead by example. Demonstrating humility and a willingness to apologize for your own mistakes can set a powerful example. When you acknowledge your own faults and offer sincere apologies, you model the behavior you wish to see. Tips Apologize promptly and sincerely when you realize you have made a mistake. Show through your actions that apologies are a natural and important part of maintaining healthy relationships. 5. Address the root cause. Sometimes, underlying issues or misunderstandings can prevent someone from apologizing. Addressing these root causes can pave the way for a more meaningful and heartfelt apology. Tips, engage in open-ended conversations to explore any deeper issues that might be influencing their reluctance to apologize. Offer solutions or compromises that address these underlying concerns and demonstrate your commitment to resolving the conflict. 6. Highlight the positive impact. Emphasizing the positive impact of an apology on the relationship can encourage someone to take that step. Highlight how apologies can strengthen trust, repair damage, and foster a deeper connection. Tips, share examples of how past apologies have led to positive outcomes in your relationship. Reinforce the idea that apologies are a sign of strength and maturity, not weakness. Real-life scenarios and practical applications. Scenario 1, the misunderstanding. Imagine you and your partner had a disagreement over a misunderstanding. You feel hurt by their words, and although they did not intend to offend, you believe an apology is warranted. Approach. Express your feelings calmly and clearly, focusing on how their words affected you. Allow them to explain their side and acknowledge any valid points they make. Highlight the benefits of resolving the misunderstanding through an apology, emphasizing its positive impact on your relationship. Scenario 2. The Forgotten Commitment Your friend forgot an important commitment, leaving you feeling disappointed and unimportant. You believe an apology would help mend the situation. Approach. Share your feelings of disappointment without blaming them. Discuss the importance of the commitment and why it mattered to you. Encourage them to reflect on how their actions impacted you and the relationship, paving the way for a sincere apology. Scenario 3. The Heated Argument You and a colleague had a heated argument at work, and you believe their behavior was inappropriate and deserves an apology. Approach. Address the issue in a private setting to avoid embarrassment. Focus on the specific behavior that you found problematic, rather than attacking their character. Suggest a calm and constructive discussion to resolve the issue and express how an apology could help move forward. The Role of Forgiveness The Power of Forgiveness Forgiveness is an essential component of the apology process. It involves letting go of resentment and anger, allowing both parties to heal and move forward. 
Offering forgiveness can be as powerful as receiving an apology, as it demonstrates a willingness to rebuild trust and restore harmony. How to Foster Forgiveness Tips Reflect on the benefits of forgiveness for your own well-being and the health of the relationship. Practice empathy by trying to understand the other person's perspective and motivations. Communicate your forgiveness openly, reinforcing the positive impact of the apology. Please like and subscribe to my channel MK Psychology Corner for more interesting psychology facts. Conclusion Building Stronger Relationships Encouraging someone to apologize is not about winning or proving a point. It's about fostering understanding, empathy, and mutual respect. By creating a safe environment, communicating effectively, and demonstrating patience and humility, you can pave the way for genuine apologies that strengthen your relationships. Remember, the goal is not to force an apology, but to cultivate a space where apologies naturally arise as part of a healthy, respectful interaction. In doing so, you not only mend the immediate rift, but also build a foundation for deeper, more resilient connections.